Hello everyone, welcome to the coding tuition. This is the first video of HTML, CSS and JavaScript project series. In this video, we will see a first project which is to change background on a button click. Let me show you the demo first and then we will start implementing the code. Initially, the background is in yellow color and whenever we click on the button that is click me to change background, the background automatically changes. Okay, so this is a project which is a very simple one. So let's get started with the code. So here I have created the folder change background on button click. Now the folder is empty. So let uh, let us open this folder uh, with VS code. Okay, so first step is to create a HTML file. So let me create one. Uh, let us name the file as index.html. Now here let me get the boilerplate code of HTML. Whenever we click exclamation and press enter, we will get the boilerplate code. And uh, let us give the title of this project as background change. Let's save this and let's see the output. So here, the uh, as you can see that uh, here we are getting the title. Okay. Now, uh, since in the demo we saw that we just require one button. So what we will do is we will create a button inside a div. So let me create a div first, and let me give class to the div container for CSS purpose. And inside the div, let me create a button and the button will have a ID of btn. Why I have given this ID, I will let you know uh, when we write the JavaScript file. Okay. And the button will have a text that click me to change background. Uh, so let me save this and let us see the output. Okay. So this is what we have done. Uh, we have created a HTML file in that inside a div, we have created a button and the button says click me to change background. And now whenever we click, nothing happens because we have not yet written the JavaScript part. Okay. So let us do that first. So to write a JavaScript, there are many methods. We can write uh, the complete JavaScript in, uh, inside the current HTML file, but the best practice is to create a separate JavaScript file. So let me create a separate file called script.js. So here I have created a, another file, which is script.js. Now what we have to do is before writing the JavaScript code, we have to link that JavaScript file to a current HTML file. Okay. For that, there is a tag called script. I hope you all know that. And inside that, uh, inside the script tag, there is an attribute SRC where we have to give the path of the JavaScript file. So here what we write is script.js. Please note over here the index file, the HTML file and this JavaScript file are in the same folder. Therefore, I have just given the name of the file. Otherwise, you have to give the full path of the JavaScript file. Okay. If this file is in some other folder. Now let us work on the JavaScript part. Now the first part in the JavaScript, what we have to do is since we want to change the background whenever we click the button. Okay. So first we need to get the access of the button, which is in the HTML file. Right here, we have given an ID to a button. Now with the help of this ID, we will get access of this button. Okay. Now let's see uh, how to do that. So here we will create a variable const. Let us name that as button. Okay. Inside that we will store the access of the uh, HTML button. So for that we will use document dot get element by ID. Okay. And inside the get element by ID function, we will give the ID of the HTML element whose access we want. Okay. Since the ID of our button was BTN here, we got the access of the HTML button. Okay. Now another access we need is since we want to change the background of the complete body of the HTML, we need the access of our HTML body. Let us create another variable body. This name can be anything. Okay. Now to get the access of the HTML body, there are many ways here. I am using the document dot body with this. We got the access of our body and the HTML button. Okay. Now the first step of the JavaScript file is done. Now the second step is since we want to change the background color. Okay. So first we need a pool of colors. For that, we have to create an array which consists of many different colors. Okay. Here I have created an array colors. Inside that, I have uh, written six colors red, green, blue, yellow, pink, and purple. You can add more if you want. And with this, with the help of this pool of colors or array of colors, we will select one of the colors randomly and that color will be the background color of our body. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now, what we have to do? The third step. The first two steps was to 
get the access of the HTML elements and the second step was to create an array of colors. Now the third step is to write the main code that what to do when we click the button okay so since we have the access of a html button into a button tag into a button variable so what we will do we will write button dot add event listener since clicking the button is an event we will use the add event listener function okay inside that it will take two parameter first parameter is the type of event since the type of event is the click event we will right click the second parameter is we have to instruct that what to do when the button is clicked for that we will write another function and we will call that function over here okay i have written here is click comma change background change background is a function we have not yet created that but listen how it works so add event listener will take two parameter one is the uh, event and second is the function which will be called whenever the uh, event happens so whenever a click event happens the change background function will be called okay so let us create the change background function first for that we will use the function keyword and then we will write change background okay so here the change background function has been created and the complete code of uh, assigning the background randomly to our html body will be written over here okay now since we want to change the background of our html body randomly okay so how to do that is we will use the colors array and how to get a random color from this array one method is if we get the index of the array randomly with the help of that index we can select the color at that particular index and that color will also be random for example here the index of a colors array start with 0 and it will end at 5 okay so suppose if we select an index randomly from 0 to 5 let's suppose we select an index 3 with that index we can call colors of 3 here colors of 3 is the color yellow okay so this color will be applied to our background uh, color of the body now this is what we have to do now since we want to select a number randomly in javascript inside the math module there is a function called random okay now let us understand that first so whatever you need to understand you this is the best website that is w3 schools it contains lot of information now let us understand the mat.random function so mat.random function kya karta hai? basically wo kya generate karta hai? numbers from 0 to 1 where 0 is inclusive and 1 is exclusive which means jo math.random jo bhi value generate karega wo obviously integer nahi hoga wo ek float value hoga and it will start from 0.0, .0 to 0 0.999 it will never be one okay so this is basic what math.random do but hame kya chahiye hame uh, colors array ka index chahiye okay and index are always integers so how to convert this value which we get from math.random into an integer value let us see this example ye ye to clear hai ki math.random kabhi bhi 1 nahi dega agar ye 1 nahi de raha hai so whenever we multiply the value of math.random into 10 it will be always less than 10 i hope this is clear for example if math.random randomly selects a value 0.5 okay and then whenever we multiply math.random that is 0.5 into 10 we will get the value as 5 okay now let's consider if math.random give us a value of 0.89 when we multiply it with 10 we will get 8.9 still it is not an integer now to convert into an integer we will use another function which is called a math.floor function okay so basically there are two different functions a floor function and a seal function the floor function kya karta hai? so whenever we give a number to a floor function it will give us a integer value which is less than the current number okay for example if we give 8.9 to the math.floor function so wo kya karega 8.9 ke closest integer kon sa hai which is less than 8.9 that is 8 it will give us the value as 8 similarly ek dusra function hota hai which is a seal function whenever we give 8.9 to math.seal function wo kya karega closest integer which is greater than 8.9 wo de dega theek hai i hope this is clear so with the help of this full expression which is math.floor 
inside that we are giving math dot random into 10 we will get a integer value from 0 to 9 okay but hame kya chahiye integer value from 0 to 5 chahiye so here we will instead of multiplying with 10 we will multiplying with 6 which is the length of the array okay so let's do that so here what we will do is math dot random right now math dot random function kya karega it will generate values from 0 to 1 okay now what we have to do is we need values from 0 to 5 so here we will multiply with with the length of our array okay here the uh, to get the length of our array what we will do is we will write colors dot length and this value we will provide to another function which is math dot floor okay i hope this much is clear with this with this expression we will get integer values from 0 to 5 okay and this we will store it into a variable that is called const colors index okay inside the colors index variable we have got a randomly selected integer now we just need to get the color at this index and we will give that color as the background image of our body and this is very easy so what we will do is we will do body dot style dot background color okay and in that we will uh, we will give us colors of a colors index okay so this is what a code is let us save this code and let us see how it works so here is the chrome window and whenever i will click the button it will give us a random color okay i hope this much is clear and one thing if you note is whenever we start this project the initial color is white but if we want our body background to be one of the color from the colors array we can do that as well so before uh, writing the uh, add event listener what we will do is body dot style dot background color okay and let's suppose we want a default color to be red so here we will write colors of zero okay i hope this much is clear let us save this and see the output okay so the initial color here is red and so whenever we will click the button click me to change background we are we will get different colors okay now let us add some css to this button let us make this button to the center for that we need to go to a html file okay so adding css also there are many different ways here i am using the internal style sheet instead of creating an external since we want to add css only to a single button uh, since the button is in the div we will apply css directly to the div first we have to write the style tag inside the style tag we will use the class container so dot container now since we want to get the button to the center of the body we will write margin auto okay so let's save this and see the output so here i have refreshed but still the button is not in the center so what is the issue the issue here is whenever we give margin as auto we have to specify the width of the div okay so let us do that so here i am giving the width as 200 pixel okay now let's see so here the button is at the center the default color is red and whenever we click we get different colors okay another method we can uh, make the button to the center is using the display flex method so this was it regarding this project i hope this much is clear this was a very simple project and in the further videos i will uh, increase the complexity of the project step by step okay if you found this video helpful then do like this video and please subscribe to the channel also i have created many different videos on uh, python for uh, arrays using numpy and uh, recently i have created a video on slicing an array you can watch that and if you found this channel helpful then do subscribe to this channel thank you for watching bye